Hello and welcome to the University of Calgary Web Services training video about the fundamentals of the new layout system inside the Drupal 8 environment. It is recommended that before watching this video, you take a look at both the administration menu video and the page management video. Also keep in mind that this video was recorded on an administration account, so some of the menu options and actions available may look different depending on your access level. It's also recommended to look at the accompanying documentation for the Drupal 8 environment, which can be found at the link in the video description. The web services team is also available to provide assistance and additional information at ucalgary.service-now.com slash IT. Also, if you're new to the environment, we do have a quick start playlist to help you get up and running in the new environment, and the link for which will be also available in the description. To start off, let's get some definitions for the important terms down. The layout of the page is the culmination of all of the sections of the page together to form how the page looks. Sections are the containers, similar to panels from the Drupal 7 environment, that hold all the blocks on a page. And blocks is where you're actually going to put all of your content into. For example, on this page, you can see all the sections come together to form how this page looks. Layouts can be vastly different from each other in the Drupal 8 environment, as they're much more customizable than the old environment. The individual sections are what contain each of the different blocks and are what help make up the page and make it so customizable. As you can see from this page, sections come in many different sizes. Once we select Add Sections, we can see the different possibilities that are available to us. The sections are sized by percentage of the width on the screen they take up. For example, the 25-75 two-column layout is comprised of two subsections, one that takes up 25% of the width on the page, and another that takes up the remaining 75%. Keep in mind that each different section size also has different blocks that are usable for it. For example, the 75% width section has many more options for usable blocks than the 25% width option. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you do decide to remove a section, all of the blocks go with it. And at the time of recording, it's also not possible to currently rearrange the sections on a page besides to remove those sections and recreate the sections. To remove a section, simply click on the X above the top of the section and then hit remove. Thank you for watching the video. Once again, any links mentioned within the video can be found in the description and if you have any questions, need to clarify any of the topics discussed in the video, or would like to provide feedback on the video, please submit a ticket to the web services team at ucalgary.service-now.com.